Hello and good day. Today, we're having an interesting thing happen. Excuse me. Um, I got a call from somebody visiting from uh, across the ocean. And um, their parents have held on to their Commodore 64 because they kept on saying, don't get rid of it, don't get rid of it, don't get rid of it. Well, they went to fire it up. Everything works. But discs don't read. So, um, there. now I think the intention is, because it wasn't working, they were going to sell it. And they've listed it on Kijiji. And from what I know, it's a 64 and a 1541 and joysticks and a whole bunch of other things and stuff what have you. And uh, they're asking, I think, 250 but the disk drive won't read disks, and they'd like it to. Anyway, I had her do, and I'll show you what I had her do. Hang on, let me poke. 53280, comma, zero, and then move up and poke. 53281, comma, one, comma, 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 zero. And then I will switch this to white. I think it might show up better. Anyway, I will new because I don't need that. I had her do this magical thing. Open 15 comma 8 comma 15 comma quote I colon quote colon close 15. 15. Which of course forces the drive to initialize, which is not the same as format. Anyway, it, it still kept on just making the same chattering noise, and she has the 1541 test demo disc in there. So then I suggested that she change... Oh, this is probably not helping. Um, change the program... So change what she did to make it into a little program... So she could just have it keep doing it because on occasion, sometimes just doing this will get a drive to sort itself out. Now, unfortunately, this was not one of those times. So, um, anyway, they may or may not end up selling this thing. They may not. But anyway, later on today, she's going to drop it off with me. And I am going to have a go. I am suspecting very much that what I need to do is open it up and put some alcohol friction compose. In other words, rubbing alcohol compound, topical anesthetic releases muscle stiffness. Yes. Um, I forget what percentage of anything this is, but it's always done me well. I really should know. Anyway, I don't. So, basically what I'm suspecting is, I will take the top off, I will see how long the board is. I may have to loosen the board, depending how long the board is. Um, the, the drive in question looks to be a 1541C, which is like this, but it's got the, um, kind of the cream color that often gets yellowed. So I'm suspecting it's a shorter board. But if that is the case, then all I have to do is take off, take off the screws, clean the head, let it sit for a little bit, give it a test, and probably it's fine. It's rare that it would be anything else after just sitting. It could be alignment, but I don't think so. I think it's just microscopic scunge has infested the head. Or who knows, maybe some bug got in there. Anyway, so when you do this little program, open 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote, I, zero, quote, colon, close 15, in line 10, and then in 20, say, go to 10, over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again, it forces this to happen. And if the, the, the disc is not good, it will bang the head, 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 and sometimes it'll sort itself out. It may also, maybe if there's just a little bit of scunge on the head, it might clean it off. Anyway, in this case, of course, um, this drive is okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to make sure I have everything handy. So 
I'm going to load the performance test, but I don't have to type in the whole word performance test. I can just type in perf and an asterisk, and it'll get the first thing that's called perf. And that's all that's on here that is named perf. And it will load. And I'm just making sure that I have everything right ready to do this with. Because um, I told him, just leave it with me for at least an hour, and I'll let you know what's what. So I'm just going to run this on this, and I'm going to tidy up a bit and make sure that I have everything handy that I would possibly need. I have Q-tips. I have a head thing. What is this? That's, oh, that is a bucket from Star Wars. I have some glasses and some other accessories. I should check these out. Maybe some of them. That's interesting. Even though my grandmother always told me, exercise your eyes, then you won't need glasses. And I would do these things where I'd go back and forth and back and forth and back and up and down and up and down and all around. Of course, I need reading glasses, so distance, not bad. But anyway, so I'm just running this through. I will have the alcohol handy. I do not need the centipede cartridge handy. I will, of course, need my phone so I can call them. This little bucket is go down on the floor. Oh, here's a T-Pug magazine. I never was crazy about this cover. I think it was too brightly lit in the back. But anyway, it's from... August, September of 84. Here it is. I wonder, did I have anything in here? Another pro. Oh, yeah. This? No, that's this and that. The door is Did I have anything? Maybe. Should put those glasses on. Certainly, there was stuff by Jim Butterfield. Okay, this thing is testing. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Hello. I surely know what's in or what's on here. That is my brother and I, and that is the room where we ran the Bradley Builders bullet board system for a while. It is indeed. So this is pretty much done. It's done. Okay. So that is working. That is fine. I'm going to carefully put these oh, magazine relics of the past somewhere very carefully. Yeah. What is this now? There are discs here. They don't need to really be here. Um, this one I'm rather fond of. Maybe I'll try. And just, uh, oh, what is this? I'll make a race. So we have the alcohol. This screwdriver should handle. Thing here is a test cartridge. I will keep that handy. Test the SID chip, etc. And this is another collection of assorted assortments. Yeah, I think I'll keep those handy. So, for this operation, I think I have everything I need here, and perhaps one thing that I don't need here, perhaps this disc drive, 
which I know is fine. This, but I did have tr trouble with this one at one point. Um, oh. All right, this is, you can't see this, but this is a Torx. I think it's a T10. Good for opening some of the newer 64s. I'll put that in there. Now I think what I can do here, I turned off the drive. I will unplug now. I to bring the cables. get this in here. I can put it up here and I can be ready to go. Yes, that is one thing I must get better at doing is cleaning off the bench. Cleaning off the bench. So we have glasses. Let me just, I have here sitting under the, there, look, it's a board from a Commodore 64. Shocking. Dead. Water damage. Slime near power. Yeah, parts. Probably parts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Water damage indeed. Anyway, what I have here are the Q-tips. What is under here? Oh, there's something. What's that? Oh, it's a disc. Okay. You know what? I, oh, I'm just going to put that there. This Q-tip, I'm sure, is done. So... I have everything ready. I know they're not going to be back incredibly quickly, but still, I want to get it done. I want to get it finished. I want to get it sorted so they know, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? And that is that. So I am ready for whenever it should arrive, which is probably not for another maybe two and a half hours. And... So that is that. So, oh, it's been a while since I have taken something in to check out. Oh, hello, Penny. Hi there, Penny, dear. Penny, do you want to say hello? Yes, hello, Penny. Yes, I know. Penny, do you want me to pick you up? Penny is a funny skittish cat. Come here, Penny. There's Penny. She likes to be petted from time to time, but she is not a cuddle cat, are you, Penny? You're not a cuddle cat. Do you want to go stand up on the disk drive? No, oh, I don't think so. No, that's probably not a good idea. Okay, Penny, Penny, Penny. Let's go back. There's not really a whole lot of space on the tables here. So, that's it for now. I am ready to, oh, I don't need this. They're not bringing the 64. Of course, I could suggest they bring it. Yeah. No, the disk drive is fine. That could be a whole, I know the 64 is working because she was working on it. Okay, Penny, we're just about done. So let's say goodbye. Goodbye, Penny. Penny, that's the magic eraser she just knocked over. By the way, in this room, which I refer to delicately as the box room, I have some work to do to sort things out and put more boxes in here and tidy up. I'm trying to get the boxes confined to the box drives. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll see how this disk drive repair, correction, adjustment, whatever it is, ends up going. Until later, stay safe. Bye for now.